Hey everyone, welcome back to Bee's Kitchen. Hoping you're all doing well. Today, I am going to show you how I made this delicious chicken sauce, which is just perfect for a weekday meal. It is nice and quick to make. So stay with me and let's get started. For this recipe, I am going to use the following ingredients. I will start with my vegetables. On this plate, I have different type of vegetables and I've got spring onions, red bell pepper and orange bell pepper and i've diced them i have some finely chopped garlic finely chopped ginger i have some chilies and i've got my onions which have been chopped as well of course guys you can use any type of vegetables of your choice i'm using chicken thighs and the reason why i use chicken thighs is because i find that chicken thighs is nice and juicy compared to chicken breast but if you don't have chicken thighs you can certainly use chicken breast and i've also washed clean and cubed the chicken thighs i have some brown sugar corn flour for my seasonings i will be using smoked paprika ground ginger garlic granules onion salt chicken seasoning and white pepper i have some vegetable oil i've got some oyster sauce dark soy sauce light soy sauce sesame oil and black pepper and as always all ingredients including measurements will be in the description box below so i have about 1.5 kg of diced chicken thighs and i'm going to go ahead and season the chicken thighs using my seasonings of choice feel free to season your chicken thighs using your preferred seasonings of choice Once I've added all the seasonings, I'm just going to drizzle on a little bit of sesame oil for some flavor and I'm going to add dark soy sauce for some color and then finally I will add corn flour. Now the corn flour is just going to ensure that once I fry the chicken, it has this crispy um, outside and it also helps brown the chicken very quickly. Next I'm just mixing everything together very well and I will set the chicken aside and allow it to marinate for 10 minutes. Whilst the chicken is marinating, time to make the sauce. In a bowl, I have added water. Next, I'm going to add dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, oyster sauce, and I will also add brown sugar, which is going to help balance the salt from these sauces. And then finally, I will add corn flour. Now, the reason why I add corn flour is because the corn flour is just going to ensure that it helps the sauce thicken. Once I have all my ingredients in a bowl, I'm just using a hand whisk to mix everything together to ensure that I don't have any lumps in my sauce. Next, I'll set this aside for later use. Time to fry the chicken. I placed my wok on fire and as you can see, the wok is nice and smoky. So I've added my oil and now time to add the chicken, which has been marinating for the last 10 minutes. Next, I'm going to allow the chicken to fry on medium to high heat for 10 minutes. The chicken have been frying on one side for about five minutes. I'm just turning it and just allowing the opposite side to also fry. And as you can see, the chicken is looking so beautiful and it smells amazing i'm going to just allow it to completely finish cooking at this point it is nice and ready so i'm just going to go ahead and remove it from my wok and i'll set this chicken aside for later use
to the remaining oil i'm going to add my finely diced garlic and ginger and i'll just allow this to saute until it is nice and fragrant Next, I'm going to add my chilies and onions and I will saute this for two minutes. If you don't like spicy food, please feel free to omit the chilies from this recipe. And two minutes later, I'm going to add the rest of my vegetables and allow it to saute for two minutes as well. Because I do like my vegetables crunchy, I'm going to ensure that I am not overcooking my vegetables. Next, I'm going to add my cooked chicken and I'm just going to mix everything together. And now it's time to add the sauce and mix everything together. I would then simmer on medium heat for 10 minutes until the sauce thickens in consistency and guys as you can see the sauce is thickening nicely and if i tell you how amazing it smells it just smells incredible i'm giving it a good stir so you can see how beautiful this sauce looks and i like my chicken sauce to have enough sauce on it so when i'm eating it with any side dish of my choice i do have enough sauce that's why I used enough water when I was making the sauce. And guys, this is ready. Enjoy it with any side dish of your choice. I am going to enjoy it with a bowl of rice. As always, thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Enjoy your chicken sauce and I'll see you next time. Bye.